A while ago, I got an invitation that said, Mr. and Mrs. Bayless request your presence at the nuptials of their son, Myron, who is betrothed to Lucy, the daughter of Mrs. Tolucci, and that the wedding was to take place on Halloween. So I put on my best trick-or-treat ensemble, fluffed up my boa, and went to wish them well. The rented hall was filled with friends and relatives. They waited quietly as the best man led the groom to the altar. All heads turned as the bride entered. And you know, some of those heads looked familiar. So in front of the traditional makeshift <laughs> coffin, the bride and groom stood to affirm their love to all the world. Hmm, and perhaps to all the other worlds, too. Lucy and Myron, we're here together on this Halloween Eve because you have asked me to sanctify your love into marriage. All Hallows' Eve was the time to, uh, uh, well, first of all, it was the only night where you could invoke the devil's hell. Also, the souls of uh, the dead were supposed to revisit their homes on that evening. My father passed away when I was only 22 months old. Your father usually gives the bride away. So we just decided that we would also invite the souls of those dearly departed to come. This was the evening where everybody could be here no matter in what form or what state they were in. Halloween can be a good time. It can be a time for joyous celebration, a time for a marriage, time to have fun, time to gather your friends and also do something serious. And with the authority vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. You make this your bride. <laughs> All right. Love and marriage, love and marriage. Go together like a horse and carriage This I'll tell you, brother You can't have one without the other Lucy, Myron, why are we standing in front of a coffin? But a coffin is an end of one life and a beginning of another And after all, a marriage is, is a beginning of another life That's right. for two people That's right We ended one life and now we're beginning another So it's really quite relative I only wish I could turn into a bat and fly out the window. <laughs> <laughs> this is the wedding. What are the honeymoon plans going to be? <laughs> well, they're up in the air right now. We eventually will take a cruise. Yeah. They're up in the air right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean... <laughs> she wants to go in the water, you want to fly. <laughs> I wish you both a wonderful marriage, good health, and all the happiness in the world. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Love and marriage. Love and marriage, they go together. Yes, you guessed it. The guests shower the newlyweds with rice and garlic cloves as they dash to their waiting hearse. <laughs> and their casket built for two. You can't have one without the other. No, sir.